Hello and a very warm welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we're solving the polynomial x to the power of 4 plus 2 minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 34. And we're solving for all solutions. So maybe give it a go yourself, pause the video and let me know how you get on. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. So let's get started. As you can see, this polynomial is of degree 4. So this is called a quartic polynomial. So we'll expect at least four solutions. Now, first of all, we're going to make a substitution. We're going to let y equal to 2 minus x. And therefore, we can say that x plus y is equal to 2. Okay, swap them over here. Now we're going to go with x plus y all to the power of 4, and we're going to employ the binomial expansion. So let's get started with that. So if we can write out the binomial expansion formula, we can start off with the first combination, n is equal to 4, and k will be equal to 0. Substitute them in for the exponents, and we will start off with 4, c0 by x to the power of 4 by y to the power of 0. Let's keep going and we will get 4, 1 and we have x to the power of 3. Now the y is to the power of 1 and then we have the 2's 4c2 x to the power of 2 y to the power of 2 and 4c3 is our second last combination. So x to the power of 1. Now that's going down. y to the power of, of 3. And then finally 4c4. We know that's 1. And then x to the power of 0. And y to the power of 4. Okay, so this is our result here. And now we're just going to compute out all our combinations and just rewrite it as clearly as possible. And we will get 4c0 is 1. So we get x to the power of 4 multiplied by y to the power of 0, which is 1. So that will be x to the power of 4. And then we will have 4 by y by x cubed plus 6. 4c2 is 6. And we have x squared, y squared plus 4c3, again that's 4, and then we have xy cubed, and then it's symmetric, and then we finally then we have y to the power of 4. Now we're going to factor out 2xy from 3 of the terms, so we get x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4. We're going to factor out 2xy as it's common, so it's the highest common factor among this one, this one, and this one. And let's see what we get. We will get 2x squared for the 4 x cubed y. And we have 2y squared for the 4 y cubed x. And we have 3xy for the 6x squared y squared is here, we're going to simplify x squared plus y squared. As we have x plus y is equal to 2, we can also write x plus y all to be squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. And therefore, we can also write that x squared plus y squared Bring your 2xy over and we'll get x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. So we're going to replace, and remember, x, x plus y is 2, so that will be 2 squared minus 2xy. Okay, so we have 4 minus 2xy replacing the x squared plus y squared with the 2 factored out now. So we're going to multiply in here, and we're going to get a new combination inside the parentheses. 
right so this new combination will uh, will work out as 8 minus xy because we have 2 by 4 2 by negative 2 will give minus 4xy plus 3xy is minus 1xy okay so now let's uh, continue from this stage onwards and reformat this so we're going to get 4 2 to the power 4 we're going to work that out and we're going to get 16 is equal to 34 plus 16 xy multiply in again here and we will get minus 2 xy all to be squared if we square them both together now let's look how this works out so this was going to give us a quadratic form because we're going to divide across by two bring everything over to one side and we have a quadratic form so therefore we're going to factorize this quadratic in terms of x y combination as the variable right so we have it here and we have it factored out so we have minus 9 plus 1 bring them across and we get x y is equal to plus 9 and x y is equal to negative 1 so we have two sets of solutions at this stage for x y so we're going to take both of those into account now and we're going to solve them with the information so the first set will be x y is equal to 9 and remember from before we have x plus y is equal to 2 so we're going to rewrite y in terms of x so we get y is equal to 9 over x now we're going to substitute it in here and we will get x plus 9 over x is equal to 2 bring the 2 over and we make it a negative okay so now we're going to multiply everything by x and we will get x squared minus 2x and we will have a plus 9 okay so that's a quadratic and we're going to solve this now right so what we can do now is use the quadratic formula and we're going to assign a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 2 and c is equal to 9 okay so let's substitute everything in real quick and we get x 1 2 there are our first two solutions we get minus b which is 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is negative 4 squared minus 4 a c which will be 4 minus 32 so that's going to give us minus 30 minus 36 4 minus 36 is minus 32 all over 2a which is 2 by 1 okay so this is negative so what are we going to do when we have a negative discriminant well we have to split it up so we're going to split it with a negative one and also we're going to simplify the third we're going to write it as four square root two for the 32 all over two now remember i squared is equal to negative one so we can um, write the square root of negative one as i so let's replace it we will get two plus or minus four root two i and divide in by two and we get one plus or minus two root two i so there we have it that's our first two solutions and they are imaginary numbers okay so let's go on to the second combination now over here for x y is equal to negative one now for our second combination x y is equal to negative one so let's divide across by the x and y is equal to minus one over x okay so we're going to substitute in here into the original equation here x plus y we're using this throughout so we will get x minus one over x equals two multiply by x and bring the 2 over and we will get x squared minus 2x and we will also get a negative 1 we're going to solve this quadratic again 
and we're going to employ the minus b formula, the quadratic formula again. So we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 1. Okay, so we have these numbers. Let's substitute them into the formula, and we're going to get x3 subscript 4. Okay, there are our second and uh, our third and fourth solutions. So we're going to get 2 for the minus b, plus or minus. Let's see what we get inside. So we're going to get minus 2 squared minus 4 by minus 1, and that will give us a combination final result of 8 all over 2. Now these are going to be real as we can do the square root of 8. We know that's going to be 2 root 2. And divide in by your 2 now above and below. It's a common factor of 2. And we will get our second our sets which are going to be 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. Thus, our solutions to the quartic equation are x1 is equal to 1 plus 2 square root 2i, x2 is equal to 1 minus 2 square root 2i, x3 is equal to 1 plus square root 2, x4 is equal to 1 minus square root 2. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon on the next exciting maths video.